Uh, this is Steve Young for the Co-Roundtable. In the United States, there's been, for many months now, a, a big strike in Hollywood of, of actors. Previously, there was a strike which got settled about writers. And so all the people who go into making movies, but more than that, video productions which go in television and streaming, a new, a new technology of accessing you know, video, video entertainment. And the, the workers uh, took on the owners over issues of dividing up the surplus. And to my mind, it was to some ways a classic uh, Karl Marx uh, competition between the capitalists and the proletariat as to who, who, who gets the surplus that's made by the product of the company. How is it divided between the owners and, and the people who actually make the product? On the other hand, in the settlement of the actor's strike, there's another aspect to it which caught my attention because we don't think about it so much because we fixate on like physical things of wealth, like money and stocks and assets in your house. And we don't pay so much attention to what is called sort of the intangible side of life or wealth creation, um, which goes to what we're at the Co-Round Table increasingly interested in, social capital and human capital. The idea being that if you have ethical principles for government, uh, ethical principles for business, your ethical principles are intangibles. They're part of culture. You can't grab culture. Where does culture exist? It exists in people's minds, in their hearts, in their behaviors. So if you, if you have human capital, where do you record it? How do you pay for it? Well, on one hand, with human capital, you pay for skills, you pay for education. If I have a college degree, I can theoretically uh, charge more money than my friend who only has a high school degree. But on the other hand, in America today, if I have a liberal arts degree in history and art, I might not make as much as a, my friend, high school graduate, who's got a certificate to become a plumber. Because he might be able to make $80,000 a year. And I might not be able to get a job. So what do we value? Skills are one thing. In the settlement of the strike of the actors, they go to some intangible things, which is like your face, your, your persona, who you are, which from here on out cannot be created by artificial intelligence, AI programs, and then using your reputation, your brand, because you have, you have fans, you have followers, they will watch a movie that you are in and not somebody else. And, but the owners, they can manipulate the technology to have you there, which really isn't you. So how do we, how do we think about the value of you? And what do you get to charge? The actors have won out in that the companies have now agreed not to use AI to create false use. 